Here to celebrate life. Yeah. Well, I need y'all to make some noise, y'all. Right about yeah. that. Yeah. Now, Kim, she always will come on the block, 84th and Carpenter, over Terra House. Where's Mac at? Mac is in the building. June is in the building. And we grew up with her. And if um, she was anything like a mama, I know a mama will give anybody the shirt off of her back. Yes, sir. Shoes off of her feet. Amen. And so again, we're here to celebrate life, but see, God will allow these things to happen so that the message could come to us. Amen. Because see, she's run her race and she's run her course and God is saying, job well done, my worthy and faithful servant. Yes, sir. But see, we still here, so we still got a job to do and we still got to get it right. Right? So I want to share a poem with you all. Some of you all may know me by Black Ice. They know me as Tony. Some of you all, I got my sister right there. I got my mama right there. Oak Forest family. So um, somebody say, what if? Let me share this poem with you. Somebody say, what if? What if? What if? What if? Everyone, with the listening ear of my voice, do me a favor, close your eyes for one moment and think of this. What if today was your last day? What would you say and who would you call? Would you pull out that cell phone, look at all the contacts inside and call them all, or would there just be a select few? Yes. Question is, my queens, what would you do? Who would be of importance to you this one day? And who would you want to remain by your side these last few hours that you're alive? And who haven't you spoken to for years? Amen. I'm going to say that again. Amen. And who haven't you spoken to for years? that maybe said something or did something hurtful to you that caused a lot of hurt, pain, and tears. Better yet, family, who would you forgive? Amen. These last few hours. Could you survive and live with all the same resentment bottled up inside of you? Maybe your mother abandoned you. Or maybe your father was a deadbeat dad, but for this last day, could you call him up just to say that I love you? And would it matter to you whether or not your boo was faithful or true? And would the little petty things that you were going through in your relationship mean that much to you if today was your last day? And what about the fortune and fame? The bright lights, thousands screaming and chanting your name, the platinum and gold for what does it profit a man to gain this whole world and lose his soul? What if today was your last day? Would you pray and ask for forgiveness and try to right the wrongs of yesterday? See, the point I'm trying to make is, while waiting till you're staring at the casket on the funeral procession, yeah. I'm asking all of you all today to count your blessings and clean the slate. Make that phone call today. Say your I love yous and find forgiveness in your heart because tomorrow might just be too late. Besides, how can you pray every day and ask for forgiveness when you can't even forgive your own brother? Amen. Your father, your sister, or even your own mother. Amen. Family, look, here's the truth. Amen. See, forgiveness ain't meant to benefit him, and forgiveness ain't meant to benefit them, but forgiveness is meant to benefit you. Amen. I don't think y'all get it. Amen. See, either we going to practice what we preach, or we going to be hypocrites. Amen. Bring me my flowers while I'm alive. Amen. Write me my poems, do your tributes, sing me my songs while I'm alive. Amen. Family, look, prioritize your life. Matter of fact, do this. When you leave Geraldine's memorial service, go home and write yourself down a list. Put it on the refrigerator to remind you of what's important and everything else. Deal with that at your own risk. Because every day of life, you get a second chance to do things right. To experience a little peace, joy, and laughter. And if today was truly the last day of your life, then most of the things that y'all complaining about right now wouldn't even matter. Everyone, and I mean everyone, with the listening ear of my voice, do me a favor. Close your eyes for one moment and just think of this. What if today was your last day? That's that